Good day to you, believer, disciple of the Most High God. This is a great day to make a day of consecration and dedication. If you've been watching and praying with me on whatever digital platform, then you will know that consecration is not uh, uh, a purposeful, dedicated application to get rid of sin in your life. Rather, consecration is about giving your life to the Word and to the desires of the recreated spirit man that is in you that wants to be like Jesus in your world. He, the Holy Spirit wants you to be and speak and to have everything that Jesus would have in your world. And so consecration is dying to our own will in order to surrender to God's will and ways. So if I can put it that way, whenever you're faced with a choice, who, what will is at work here, then I say, go with what God's word says. Go with what the will of the Father is. The desire is already in your heart to do that. In the book of James chapter 4 verse 7 and 8 says, Therefore submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. So the only choice we have to make, and it's already a choice that is in you, is that you draw near to God. Because your recreated spirit wants to draw near to God. Do it. And in this prayer time that we're having together, I'm encouraging you and exhorting you and inspiring you, hopefully by the Holy Spirit, for you to draw near to God today. Draw close to Him. I want to remind you that you are not alone in some of the challenges that you face as you draw near to the Lord. Because uh, um, we have prayed this, this prayer. And this prayer says, um, Though it may be hard on the flesh, though there may be a cost, I'll pay the price, I'll do your will, I'll follow your plan for my life. So though there may be a price and maybe a cost, you will do it anyway. Part of that is sometimes you have to make a decision where it would be a comfortable thing for you to do one thing, a pattern, a habit of living that you normally would do. And now you make a consecrated decision to actually say, I'm going to do the will of God rather do the comfortable thing for me. You're not alone in this process and you're not, a, not the first one to go through this. Jesus says there's no temptation that is common to man. Every man has, has experienced the temptation that you will experience in your flesh to keep doing what's comfortable. I want to just quickly read to you Matthew 26 from verse 46. Then Jesus came, oh, it's verse 36. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane and said to the disciples, Sit here while I go and pray over there. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch with me. Jesus was in a place where this was his biggest moment of consecration. This was his biggest moment of dedication. This was the confrontation of all eternity. And it would have been easy for Jesus to have reverted back to the strength of his life with God, the glorious, wonderful life that he had with the Father, daily communion with him. What faced him was a separation of communion with the Father. So he was tempted with not going through with it because he'd never been separated from intimate, wonderful communion with the Father. You're not alone. I'm going to read you the final scripture as I close. For I am persuaded, beyond doubt, I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things impending and threatening, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. It is the love of God that will uphold you and strengthen you carry through with your commitment. Let us make sure and let's pray together in this right at this moment in time. Father, 
even though there may be a price, even though there may be a cost, even though this might be difficult sometimes, even though it might be out of my comfort zone, I trust in the love of God that there is nothing that can separate me from the love of God. And today, I put my faith and trust in the love of Jesus, the love of the Father to bring me to completion and maturity and to bring me to the place that I must be. And once again, Lord, there are things that are going to happen in my day that I'm not sure of how to handle them. But I pray in the Holy Spirit that you will complete everything and help me through them. Shombre maste vreke lo brokolo vraste, hambrante kem prontishti kremele disto, hambranda gashto kolo vromote se trebekata, sombrente shte vremende